This is TechStop 500C sampling bituminous materials. It starts with labeling the can with the appropriate information on the product itself. Proper PPE must be worn at all times as demonstrated here. Using the valve method, open the appropriate valve on the tank and allow enough material, a minimum of one gallon, to flow into a waste container to ensure a representative sample. Then fill the sample container from the valve or drain cock. Fill the can to approximately 95% full. Then close the valve and remove the can. Be sure to cover and seal the can tightly. Another sampling location is from the transport, which brings the material from the terminal to the asphalt plant. Always check to make sure the valve is in a closed position before proceeding. Then remove the cover cap. Since this valve stem is not heated, a cold plug material may have formed in this area. Using the waste bucket, slowly open the valve. There's significant pressure in the tank, so do this carefully. If the plug does not clear the valve stem, in a reasonable period of time, close the valve. A torch is used to heat up the valve stem and allow the plug to fall out. Again, placing the waste can to the valve stem Slowly open the valve and drain off approximately one gallon of material. Now the valve stem is purged and the sample can can be placed and the valve opened slowly. Remember the contents of the tank are under pressure, so open and close the valve slowly. Once the can is 95% full, close the valve, remove the can, place the lid on the can, and seal tightly. Another option to obtain a sample of asphalt is from an inline sampling port. These can be purchased with a new asphalt plant or retrofitted to an existing plant. A sample can is placed into the jig. The jig will hold either a quart or a gallon. The door is open. 
and the sample and jig are placed into the filling station. The door is closed and latched. And the fill lever is then unlatched and lowered. Notice that it covers the door while it's filling the can. As the bar is lowered, the material flows from the inline heated line into the sample can. And once the can is full, close the lever and relatch. Complete. Allow the material to drain into the can. And then remove the can and cover and seal tight. Now let's look at sampling from a distributor. Here's a bill of lading to make sure the bill of lading is the proper material. It's always important to spray out some material prior to sampling. Make sure the bar is clear. Using the sample port and a waste can, draw off approximately a gallon of material to flush the line. Then bring your clean sample can open the valve and fill to approximately 95% full. Once full, close the valve, allow to drain, remove and cover and secure the lid firmly. Remember to follow the department's guidelines for verification of sampling, witnessing, labeling, testing, and storage.